Good day, Brunswick County. I'm Kathy Altman, President of the Brunswick County Chamber of Commerce and your host of Brunswick Chamber Highlights. We're building community and supporting business. Today's guests include Ray Castine of the Brunswick County Sporting Dog Association, Janie Withers with Paul's Ability, and Kelly Matthews, Events Director for the Brunswick County Chamber of Commerce. Our first guest is Ray Castine with the Brunswick County Sporting Dog Association. Ray, welcome to the show. Thank you, Kathy. We're very glad to, that you're here today so that we can find out more about Brunswick County Sporting Dog Association. Tell us about the association and how it was started. Kathy, thank you for allowing us to come and uh, uh, let people know about us. Uh, the Brunswick County Sporting Dog Association was created in 2010 and we acquired our nonprofit status in early 2011. It's a group of sportsmen and women that uh, saw a need that if we were going to continue to be able to hunt, we had to do something to present a better image. And of hunting is and very popular in Brunswick County. It is a long tradition of hunting, yes, so it that is. makes a, it seems like a very natural thing. It is. Uh, well, since you said that, hunting for me is just as uh, natural as breathing. I started hunting when I was eight years old. My grandfather uh, carried me hunting and introduced me to hunting with hounds. And since then, my wife says it's been an obsession. <laughs> sort of like football, but that's I, okay. Hunting's good. It's a sport. It's a sport that's un, a lot of times misunderstood and misrepresented. So that's why the association was formed, so that you could... Uh, define it and let people know about these uh, to address those misconceptions. Sure. Uh, as you know, our state and especially Brunswick County has had tremendous growth. And with that, there's been some changes and we've had to change and adapt. And uh, a lot of the people that moved in don't understand or uh, hunting and, and in almost every case don't understand hunting with dogs of any kind. So it is a southern tradition and uh, culture. And it's something that uh, a lot of people don't understand. Well, tell us a little bit more. Let's go into a little bit more uh, detail about the association and what kind of programs, what the future holds for it. And then I know we want to talk about an upcoming event at sure. the end of this month. So, so let's talk about how it addresses those misconceptions. Well, what we're doing is, is we hold, uh, we have meetings and we've, anyone's invited and uh, basically what we're doing now is to try to educate our hunters that just because you've done something for 30 years doesn't mean you can continue to do it the same way. We've had growth. Uh, people have moved into rural areas that don't understand hunting. Uh, they see people around their property with uh, guns uh, and sometimes on their property, unfortunately. And what we're trying to do is educate the hunters that, you know, this practice is no longer accepted. We can't do it if we want to continue to be able to Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Uh, but at the same time, we've got to find a way to reach out to the people that have just moved into the area that are not familiar with what we're doing and try to educate them that, you know, uh, they're not in as much danger as they think they are. Uh, and that uh, it is a sport and that uh, a lot of times people feel like the hounds or bird dogs or any kind of dogs are mistreated when it's quite the contrary. I mean, like every other organization or every other activity, there are some bad apples. Always, always. But, uh, but you know, when I think of deer hunting, I always think that there would be a dog with the hunter. True. Or, or for, for, uh, for bird hunting as well. Our next guest is Janie Withers with Paws Ability. 
Janie, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Kathy. Thanks for having us. We're always very interested to hear what's going on with Pausability, and I know there's some great things coming up, but first I want to say congratulations on the coverage in the recent South Brunswick Magazine. Thank you. That was a great boost for us and a great opportunity for people in Brunswick County to learn more about what we do, how we do it, and who we do it for. I think this was in the winter edition, but there's four pages of pictures and editorial that promotes possibility and the programs and all the fundraisers that you've been doing over the past Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Justin and the South Brunswick Magazine have always been very kind to us. They do a wonderful job. And So let's talk about some of these upcoming fundraisers. You've got a golf tournament in April. We have a golf tournament on April 27. This year it will be held at Cape Fear National in Brunswick Forest. Uh, we expect a sellout crowd of 128 golfers. Uh, we will have upwards of 50 plus dinner only guests. Our golf tournament is one of the few that is held in the even, afternoon and evening. Instead afternoon, of that 7.30 shotgun absolutely. start. Absolutely. It's an, it's an afternoon tee off at 1.30. When you finish, we have a great western themed party for you, complete with the dog and cat saloon, and a nice dinner and a silent auction with western music. That's going to be a lot of fun. Wear your cowboy hat. Of course. Now, if people wanted to sign up, they contact you directly? They can contact me or they can go through the website. We have online registration, courtesy of Ed Gursky of Holden Beach, did our online registration forms. Uh, we have a, a, for, a, a standard form that you can also fill out. If you're, if you're not savvy to the online registration. And what is that website? It is www pause-ability.org pause-ability.org and so it's April 24th 27th it I'm is a sorry. Friday afternoon April 27th at Cape Fear National in Brunswick Forest and I understand your golf tournament always you, you always sell out so if people want to sign up they better do it quickly do so quickly we also are accepting sponsorships this is a great place for local business to advertise their business and to show support of a nonprofit in their community that spends all of our money in our own community. None of Possibility funds leave our community. And let's share with our viewers what the mission of Possibility is. Possibility's mission is to help our animals in our shelters, uh, not with the everyday needs of the shelter. We expect our shelters to be healthy enough to take care of an animal they take in their care, to be managed healthy, and to have healthy financial resources. The shelters come to us with extraordinary needs. The $2,000 gravel bill that the state requires upon inspection that, that they don't have the money for. The refrigerator goes out that stores meds. They don't have the $900 for that. Uh, the washers and the dryers that wash bedding when the washers and dryers go out. We, we fund the extraordinary care and we fund the extraordinary vet services, the medical services and surgeries. But we also fund programs that differ in, that, that change Brunswick County. Programs like our, for our domestic violence pet protection program to protect the pets of domestic violence victims while they're at Hope Harbor. The greatest gift that we want to bring to Brunswick County is to reduce the number of unwanted animals. To do that, we need low-cost spay and neuter available in the county. Absolutely, and I know that there are several veterinarians in the, uh, in the area that want to be part of that program too, so I've got some contacts I'd like to share with you later. We have veterinarians in our community that have been supporters of every event we have had since I started this organization. And when did you start the organization? 2008. And you've made great progress. It surprises me. I mean, it, here it is, 2012, and it's just phenomenal. I think you've raised a lot of um, support dollars to go to those different programs that Possibility manages. And joining us now is Kelly Matthews with the Brunswick County Chamber of Commerce. Kelly, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me again. I know you're very busy planning for the Home and Garden Show yes. and Brunswick Stew. Yes, both of those are coming up quickly. So let's talk about the dates for the Home and Garden Show. Okay. March 24th and 25th. 
And we have a new location this year. Uh, after talking to several of our vendors last year, we decided to move it to 101 Stone Chimney Place. Uh, Which so we is get, located in Supply. Exactly. It's more centrally located. So we're hoping that we'll pull more people from, you know, Bolivia, Supply, St. James, but still, you know, reach the people that have been coming for years from Calabash and, you know, Carolina Shores, that area. And so with the, a new location will probably come some new vendors as well as yes. a new layout and, and exactly. new things. So tell us what's new yes. about this year's well, event. Well, of course, the, the layout's brand new. The kids' workshop will be there. Um, we'll have food vendors. So we'll have a little more variety of food this year so people can come hungry and they can get lunch while they're there. Uh, we'll have the tent outdoors. Hopefully that'll be filled with plenty of vendors with the outdoor products, plants, furniture, all the stuff you would need to redo your backyard. And there's a, a, a new twist this year, and that's a preview party on Friday yes, night. Yes, it is. Brand new. This is a chance. After talking to vendors last year, we learned that they really wanted to connect with each other. So we thought it would be a great way to have a little pre-show where it's invitation only. And we'll be inviting local contractors and realtors to come out for free. And each of the vendors will be supplying a little appetizer at their booth. So they can actually host them themselves. And they can talk to them and tell them what their product's about in order to to network and hopefully gain some new business. I think that's a great yeah, idea. I think it'll be lots of fun. It'll be new and we like to try new things every now and then. Absolutely. And what is the admission price? It is five dollars this year. Same as it's been the last several years. Um, we're hoping that that's a really good price for people to come in and spend, you know, all day Saturday or all day Sunday having fun and looking at all kinds of stuff. And what are the hours of the show? They're 10 to 3 both days. We felt like 10 to 3 was a good amount of time for people to get in there, walk around, see what they needed to see, and then it still gives our vendors times to enjoy their weekend. So instead of the vendors having to set up late Friday evening yes. as before, mm -hmm. now they can set up uh, afternoon. They can. They'll be setting up, you know, 12 to 4 on Friday before the pre-show and then the pre-show will begin at 5.30 and last for a couple hours. And you have a presenting sponsor. We do. State Farm Insurance uh, agent Kristen Dowdy. She's going to be our presenting sponsor this year and we're really pleased to have her. She's been great to work with and I'm really hoping that this will be a good event for her as well. I'm sure it will and it really does tie in well because you're, we're talking about home it does. and garden. Yes and she has lots of products out there for home insurance. I'm sure car insurance and I'm sure we'll hear her a little bit from her a little later about all the products she has to offer. Very good. Now let's move on to the award-winning Brunswick yes. Stew. Tell us about we, the award. We just got an award from the North Carolina Association of Festivals and Events for Rising Star Award for the Brunswick Stew Cook-Off. We were so excited to win that because it's still still in its toddler years, so to speak. This will be its fourth year. So to get that prestigious award when we were up against so many new festivals in North Carolina was a real honor. And we're so excited to have it again this year. And it is a fun event. And it it's is. a tasty event because it of is. all the different Brunswick yes. stews. We've already had so many people contact us wanting to be stew vendors. We've had new ones come out this year and wanting to participate. So we're hoping for a record amount of contestants this year. And, you know, we've watched it grow over the last three years. So we're hoping the fourth year will be the best one. I'm Kristen Dowdy with State Farm Insurance in Chalet and the proud presenting sponsor of the 2012 Brunswick County Home and Garden Show. I would like to invite you to attend March 24th and 25th at 101 Stone Chimney Place in Supply. And after you visited and gotten some great ideas for your home, be sure to stop by and see us for all your home insurance needs. The Brunswick County Chamber encourages you to keep our community strong. Buy local, buy Brunswick. If you ever have questions or would like more information regarding today's topics, feel free to contact the Brunswick County Chamber at 754-6644 or visit the Chamber's website at brunswickcountychamber.org. I'm your host, Kathy Altman, and you're watching Chamber Highlights on ATMC-TV.